Someone called the police to report a baby inside. Oh wall. The captain used a stethoscope to determine that the baby might be in the sewer pipe. So everyone immediately removed the wall and carefully sought through the pipe. Sure enough, they found the top of the baby's head. They quickly applied lubricant and gently pushed out the baby. But the baby was not breathing. They used CPR and tools to suck but all to no avail. Behind her the captain used his fingers to remove the things in the throat. The child finally cried out and regained life. The story is adapted from a true incident and the investigation found that it was an irresponsible mother who gave birth to a premature baby in a toilet and the baby's bones were soft as a sponge so it flowed down the pipe. Immediately afterward, the group rushes to the scene of another cry for help. A bodybuilder was competing when it suddenly became stiff and unable to move. Upon questioning, they learned it that he hadn't eaten water for two days to make his muscles look better, resulting in hypokalemia. The team immediately put him on a stretcher and took him to the hospital. Another auto mechanic slipped in Saturday on the inflatable pump. The worker urgently called for help. Firefighters are right to find that the guest had entered his entire body, including the chest, stomach and eyelids. The pressure in the body was too high to administer medication. The captain decided to carry out chest decompression, like deflating a balloon, and the injured man slowly regained consciousness. Accidents can happen at any time. The airport baggage truck spins out of control. An experienced apographer in another car flips it over, earning applause. He was about to celebrate when he was caught in an airplane engine. Rescue teams arrived and began breaking it up. Luckily, he was not killed because the golf club line was in the way of the blades. Please click on the avatar for more stories.